stage, we're here with Alex Leahy. How are you going? Yeah, really great. How are you? I'm pretty good. Big week at Big Sound as we were just chatting about. Yeah, nah, hectic. Um, you're closing out the uh, Oyster and Champagne stage tonight at the Maruchi Fest. Uh, how, are you, how are you feeling for the, towards the set? Because you're on in like six hours. Yeah, got a little while. I'm going to have a bit of a, maybe a snooze beforehand or something. But yeah, just going to take it really easy. Um, but it's awesome to be here early as well because um, it's just a good vibe and the weather's great and Nairi just killed it. So like, yeah, I'm, you know, it's, it's nice to pop in for a little bit. But yeah, I'll be back um, in a couple of hours to, yeah, hang out. You're closing a stage tonight, uh, whereas I saw you last, you open Splendour, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, wow. how's, your, how's your mentality changed two months on and you're closing a main stage at the festival, whereas you're opening one a few months ago? Um, I don't think my mentality's changed that much. I think more than anything, it's just um, we've become really, just really determined to make sure we put on a great show. Like every time we play, regardless of what the ta set time is or the venue or the festival or whatever. And you know, I think that um, you know, treating Splendor main stage differently to any other show, like in terms of like energy and what you give the crowd is isn't the way to go like you owe it to the people coming to see you wherever that may be to just put on like a fucking good show or at least give it a red hot go yeah um delving into your music because we should probably do that um you're coming off uh the release of big Red university it's personally one of my favorite EPs of the year um no worries uh and to me especially living in brisbane because you're all the way down south you kind of like came out of nowhere Obviously that's not the case, every artist works super hard. So what's it been like in your shoes personally, slogging behind the scenes and for you now to be naturally known? Um, well, I mean, this project for me has been going for like over two years, um, even though we kind of only started releasing music a year ago and sort of only started releasing music that was being heard outside of Melbourne, like at the start of the year. So I think that <clears throat> that foundational time was really, really important. And I don't think that like, I would be sitting here, um, you know, talking about closing a main stage or whatever um, without that time to really make the most of some of the opportunities that have come of like, you know, come our way, um, some of which I like still can't believe. If nothing had happened and, um, you know, I was, you know, wasn't touring and, and wasn't getting the opportunities that I have, like I would still be writing songs, you know, like it's just, yeah. That's just the way it is. So yeah, I just got really lucky. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, great that you're still going to be writing songs as well. I can't wait for the album whenever that's going to drop. <laughs> um, was there a point over the last six months or so when you went, hell yeah, this is happening? Like, was there a moment or has it been several big things? I think it's just been like several things that have happened that I don't know if it's like this is happening. Um, I think like the more like this is happening, things are, are, are quite. Um, personal and not so much like you know being on the radio or stuff like that like for me like one of the big moments was I, I um, left my day job last week not because it was necessarily financially viable but because like I, I can't sustain touring as much as I am and, and be working um, and I was had like you know a bit of savings that sort of thing but like doing that was like this is like I need to do it like this is happening like if you know, I want to give this a red hot go and um, see what happens and, and yeah, so I guess that was like a really big one, yeah. Um, the EP has plenty of ridiculously relatable lyrics, especially to someone of my age. Um, since quitting your day job and you're doing this full time, do you think your art degree is actually valuable now or should young people just go out and get drunk and have fun? What's your outlook on life since this number one? Well, I probably wouldn't have got my day job without my arts degree and my day job funded the recording along with selling my car so like like from a like logistics I guess perspective no like it couldn't have been possible without actually getting it but like in terms of actually well actually you know what no it couldn't have been possible at all because you know I was writing songs about it so like yeah I think um yeah it's, it's kind of funny like I actually started doing a music arts double degree and never finished the music degree and now I'm a musician Say, like, study your degree and something will happen whether it's degree related or not. Yeah, study your degree, complain about it and you'll be fine. <laughs> your big song, let's go with that. The music video for it is a warble yeah, yeah. Um Have you always been in the warble? No, I, warble is like something that kind of got exposed to me like maybe two years ago. It's more of a thing in Sydney, I feel. Um, but it's just like, it, it, it's, it's a real like... Um, 
scene and like everyone gets dressed up for it. Yeah, it's a wall ball scene. Um, I think it's called, what's it called? Stars of wall ball. Like if you like hashtag search it, there's a bunch of shit there. Um, but I really love like the style, like people get dressed up to do it and have a lot of fun and you just kind of do it out in the street. And I think that's really cool. Um, and that was a lot of fun to film. And uh, yeah, like doing film clips is like a very new thing to me, but so far I've like done the concepts for all. So we did that one and then let's go out. Um, and I did the concepts of those. And then I did just did one um, last week, which we're putting out next week um, for Ivy League. And um, the I won't like give too much away, but the clip is based on Bob Ross. Like who is this, um, guy who had this like landscape painting show in the 70s and it's just like the most cooked thing ever and um it's i think it's funny but like i don't know, hopefully other people do yeah because sometimes i yeah, sometimes like yeah i think things are funny and everyone's like out like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> we've run out of time so i got one more question for you, you we're backstage here at the maruchi music and visual arts awesome. festival 2016 um, not specifically on your stage of fighting later on, but the main stage has these amazing art installations, these massive human type yeah, things. Yeah, cool. um, so if you were tasked with the task to create next year's art installations, what would Alex Leahy bring to the table and try to make real life art? I saw this like, I was in Adelaide the other day and I was like walking past the shop window and they just had these like piles of like cat cushions like pressed against the window and it just looks so funny. And like, I feel like something like that, like just something a bit cooked like that could be great. Um, Is everything you're doing for now on just a little bit cooked? Uh, I think I'm just a little bit cooked because <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> no, no, um, no, nah, it, it was just, that was just really funny. Actually, like, yeah, that morning we were, um, we had this like, we, we yeah, we played in Adelaide last week and we had like, we had a really like fun night and in the morning we all woke up and, you know, a little bit dusty and... I opened my emails and there's an email from the South Australian police saying, oh, we just found a bag full of your T-shirts in a KFC. <laughs> and so, like, waking up to that, leaving the hotel and then, like, seeing this fucking cat cushion window, I was just like, what? Like, <laughs> what is today? Let's go with cat cushions. Yeah. Good chat for days. We've got to end it there. Alex Leahy, we're backstage at Marucci Fest. See you later.